Free For All has recently just been brought to Halo Infinite, and does it play any different than traditional Halo? Well, in some ways yes, but in other ways, it's still classic FFA. In this video I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to get more wins in Free For All. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving our tips and tricks video when it comes to Halo. If you like the kind of tips and tricks videos, we have plenty more coming as we have already done how to get better with the battle rifle, six tips to instantly improve, and there's still so much to learn about Halo Infinite guys. We have more tips and tricks coming on the way. So if you guys want to learn more and get better at the game, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So this gameplay I'm going to be showing you guys is a free-for-all on Bazaar that I actually played and won the match. And the important thing I want to start out with already right here is that in this intro screen where previously in like 4v4 match matches that it's just kind of more of a showy kind of thing this actually shows your spawn point right here so when i'm already playing the game i'm already thinking okay i'm spawning in this alleyway what's near me well the bottom part has either like the heat wave or the shotgun and above that he either has the rocket launcher or the cinder shot so my initial thought is okay i want to go grab that cinder shot from just seeing the screen alone so i'm already planning my thought process of how to move throughout the map when starting out a match so this is actually very important information but just playing this game initially it's not just like a fancy little boot up screen so then we boot up into the match here i go straight for that cinder shot that spawns on this variation of the map luckily it was uncontested and right here i kind of take a look around take a look at that radar i see him coming around i do one shot right there i don't know if you guys can hear it i heard him kind of like have a oomph kind of sound to it that means i definitely landed my shot i didn't really notice the hit marker when shooting this because the explosions are so huge with the cinder shot but you can see I just can't spam enough shots get another kill check my radar again look down below pick off that second guy for another kill now take a look at this next section i keep this in my memory right here watch it turn around right here see that character just ran by that guy just spawned over here in this upper left corner of the screen so i'm going to use that information later on that this is a very particular spawn point because I, this is like my first time playing free for all on this map if i remember correctly i might have played it like once before uh, so this is what i'm thinking of when i'm playing free for all like where are the spawn locations where are the power weapons what's the map flow and the way the game mode generally plays out so now that i'm bottom here my next th thought it goes is there a battle rifle up in the usual battle rifle spawn i check it out and now it's a commando and like yeah commandos can be all right i usually like to swap it out for the sidekick if i do but you now i don't usually try to bother with it this guy unknowing just kind of dies right there got him in the back then i got pushes up right here i was like i wasn't expecting the third i should have been ready but i just wasn't so right here's another good spot of keeping in mind of what the spawn system is working on keeping a head on a swivel helps out a lot understanding the spawn system really does help and so we have my spawn right here in this corner we see another player who actually spawned right over here. So now that I think, okay, so now these are two different spawn locations in the back of the base. So let's remember that spawn location because it's going to come in very handy later on in this match. This next one will give a good idea of how positioning really is powerful in Halo, especially in free for all. Uh, one rule is you never want to go to the middle of the map and well, this is kind of exactly what I did. I kind of thirst after this guy. One, I start the engagement that I know I can't guarantee I can get the kill on this one. I run through the middle of the map to thirst this guy up, but I get class on from someone from behind. So that's something you definitely want to keep in consideration when playing guys is not to overextend yourself. That's a perfect example of overextending. This next section is keep a close ear on what you guys are going to hear in this match. Just take a quick listen in. Inbound. You hear those sidekick shots? That let me know right before I went around this corner that there was definitely an engagement happening down here. And look at that. Lo and behold, two guys are fighting now. This is something I need to jump on because this is fresh meat. I need to jump on these kills right away. So let's see what exactly happens. I throw a grenade, see if anyone cleans up. They back up, they don't back up. That guy gets, does get the kill, but then I get the one kill after that because he was one shot. Again, this is what you do in free for all. Now, I saw that guy right up here. I saw him in my upper right corner right here that you can see him walking in, and he definitely saw us getting into an engagement. So, what I'm going to do is preemptively throw a nade because it's most likely he's going to try to thirst after me when I'm full shields and he's expecting me to be damaged. Because most likely you can expect in a 1v1 gunfight that both players are going to be damaged. I jumped in on this gunfight and I'm full shields. I preemptively threw a nade right at his feet. So, you can see. Easy double kill. 
This next clip showcases exactly what not to do in free for all, and that's the thirst after kills. And so you can see right here, I see the center shots kind of wide open. I go pick it up, I just want to grab it and go kind of situation. Check a look at my radar. There's a guy thirsting right behind me. Thirsting is a term that a lot of people use as in just chasing after kills when you don't really have them. I don't know if this guy saw me pick up the cinder shot, but I definitely have it. So watch as he chases me down. Very predictable motions. I get that kill quite easy. Another guy chases after him. I'm able to get that kill, at least I should have, but sometimes your aim and thumbs just don't agree with where they want to go. Again, here's another situation of utilizing audio. Listen for that grunt from a player. You'll be able to hear it right here. You hear that? That ugh, sound. I know someone just died right around that corner, so I'm going to get myself prepared and ready. Now I see on the radar, again, someone's chasing me down. They're trying to act, start this engage, engagement right here, and it's not going to turn on the favor because they're chasing down kills that they don't know they can completely earn. This guy got a little unfortunate because I had the uh, cinder shot right there. But like his section, I could have been anywhere from his point of view. I knew he was going to be in those stairs. It was a pretty easy kill. This guy right here, this uh, WB or doorbell guy, definitely knew how to clean up kills. So he did the right move. But you remember where he was, guys? Remember here how he's at red base and he starts moving towards where the commando spawn is? And I spawn right here. So where do you think I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to go over to that commando, preemptively just throw an A before I even see him. But I know he's going to be there because the commando is definitely a good pickup. And lo and behold, he's there. I throw an aid, get, get a shot on him. He throws an aid on me, though, and it was a good trade by him. He definitely did a great job of at least trading in that situation. But at least I got a kill. That's the most important thing as well when it comes to playing free for all. As long as you're making progress each life, you're going to be doing well. So now look at this right here. I spawned on that balcony right there. I go, okay, if I'm spawning here, most likely there is someone directly behind me. And look, lo and behold, here in the back of blue base, yes, there's someone right here. Pretty easy cleanup on my end, because I just, basically, I already knew he was there without even actually seeing him in the process. That's why remembering spawns is just absolutely crucial in free for all understanding how the mechanics of Halo work. Again, I'm checking that back spawn. No one's showing up, but take a look at this. Something popping up right below right here. Again, I made a big mistake here of jumping down bottom middle to clean up that single your singular kill. That's something you don't really want to do. Again, I go bottom middle. The two times I go bottom middle in this game, I die. Like in any pretty much any free-for-all match, guys, you want to avoid bottom middle or the middle of the map as much as possible. Now, yes, that's where the equipment does tend to spawn often. So you definitely need to make the logical plays when you do go to the middle of the map. You just kind of go in and out very quickly. Okay, now take a look at this spawn right here. So we've seen a spawn over here on the left side of the map. I've spawned over here on the right alleyway. This is the, the third spawn point of the base right here. So these are the three main spots you need to check every time you're on this side of the map. Most likely it's going to be the exact same way over on the red side as as well so again these are spawn points you need to keep in mind while playing halo infinite free for all utilize my headset i hear some gunfights here happening near the balcony so what i'm gonna do go towards that balcony and look at where this guy is right here look at this little guy this is what you don't want to do okay unless you can guarantee you can get like a two-shot kill or something like that on somebody across that way just don't bother engaging them at that distance because it's so many ways for them to escape from your gunfights with get so much cover and different routes that it's almost no point in doing it. You see in this gameplay, I'm not even bothering to shoot people across the map because either I'm helping the lobby get some free assists or, you know, it's just not worth it unless I know I can get like a one-shot kill, clean up something. So see this guy here, preemptively throw a nade. I kind of overthrow it, but I still get that kill. I go back here and check that back spawn and nobody there this time, but it's something you should regularly check as a very popular location. But hey, so I'm back here on the balcony, got another kill. Go back, check that spawn once again. And yeah, nobody there. It's just something you kind of have to keep in mind, to keep in your head on a swivel, like I mentioned earlier. This guy right here, this is kind of an interesting gunfight that happened right here that he kind of runs down this way, but then turns to engage me with no cover whatsoever. So I'm kind of confused. So I'm just pulling out an assault rifle. I thought he was going to be like hiding right around the corner or something like that. But then look at this. He, I back up to kind of switch weapons and then he uses the grapple shot to swing towards me. Don't do that because when you're in the middle of the grapple shot animation, you can't shoot. And so you're literally just flying to your death. Just don't do that. This next section will showcase how to utilize the sandbox properly because Halo, if it does have a unique sandbox, you gotta use the thruster right here. A very unique situation because you can see I jumped in that engagement first, and but I was in the boost animation. I was not now sprinting. I was not ready. This guy was very much ready. Now, but the way I was able to win this gunfight is by utilizing the thrust ability to, to uh, take this character out with the very last shot. I do use it again here very soon against a needler player, which the needler is oh so good. This one I should have died in this situation, but 
I'm pretty sure I just was able to dodge the shots because I crouched and the guy didn't really adjust his aim too well. Again, we have another player. They're standing because they're hearing the gunfights. They're coming in to swoop and get these assists and get these easy kills. Again, utilizing that boost because the Needler is super deadly. If you can get us, but as long as you get out of that red radical range, you'll be fine. And again, this is total assault rifle range as well. Better than a battle rifle even. Again, I checked that back spawn. Again, whoop the freaking do. Big surprise, there's another guy there. So you always got to keep this back spawn location in mind when playing Halo Infinite. Now, I have one kill left. So what am I doing here? I'm playing it safe, 24 to 17. So I got a pretty good lead. Guy spawns back at that base, which I showcased you earlier. I'm going to swoop over, get this final kill. This guy just kind of ducks down, get the melee for the win. Now you can see my final stats here. I went 25 kills, nine deaths, one assist. That's absolutely crucial. You wanna minimize the amount of assists as much as possible. That's engaging when you know you can get kills, not just shooting somebody because you see them. Which is certainly a strategy that works well in 4v4 because you have teammates that can help clean them up. But in free for all, don't do that. Only shoot when you know you can get the kill. And those are some of my basic free-for-all tips when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. Now, I didn't cover every single possible tip that would be helpful in playing free-for-all in general. That's just for this gameplay, for like to show you true examples of how to win matches in Halo Infinite's free-for-all. I will be releasing a top five tips to utilize for playing free-for-all in general, guys, very soon. So make sure you subscribe to keep an eye out for that video. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news, and informational, and tip videos that we've been posting here. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.